YouTube, so this is going to be another episode of a series of bug fixes, but I actually missed some off the main menu last time, so we're going to fix the, them this time. So, I'm going to try and skip through it to save time as well, so between each bug. So the first bug is on the main menu, you can select the, all three, but on the options menu and the quit menu, if you select slightly halfway of it, it selects the upper one. Really simple to fix, the play game right there is overlapping the options, the options is overlapping the quit, and the quit is overlapping the options, blah blah blah. Simply grab the box collider and change the Y axis size down just so it doesn't touch the options, then maybe you want to move it up a little bit too. So when you click play you'll get a smoother main menu, really easy. The next one we're going to do is when you click the options menu, you can see you can see the character and the main menu, click the options then click back, you can't see the character, you can see more of the main menu, that's not what we need. Really simple to fix, you're going to go to the options bit, bit um, the wall, whichever one it is, click the wall, click the options menu script, then you're going to find your back button, I'm going to zoom out so I can see it a little bit easier, right there, and it says transform that position to x equals zero, then obviously our x position does not equal zero, it equals one. So I'm assuming that if we go on the game view, change it to zero, it's exactly how it would have been. Change it to one, change it to one here, click run, and options, back, options, back, works perfect. The final bug fix is I want to put background music in here. Not really a bug fix, but everything needs a back music. So I'm going to click the main camera, click game object, create empty, call it background underscore music. I always put underscores because it helps when you're trying to find objects. And spell it right. Stick that in the main camera and then on the background music I'm going to add a component of audio source. I'm going to make sure it's ticked to play on awake and loop so it continues over and over again. So the sound I'm going to get is on um, Incompentech, I think as I say it, Kevin Leard, and I've got and gone Son of a Rocket, I'll put it in the description. I think it's cool, it's not dark, it's not too bouncy or light, it's nice, it's serious. So just click download, you'll get it, I've already imported mine. So yeah, um, Quick sidetrack, it does sound like an anime, something like what would be on an anime, I like it. So in background music, son of a rocket, stick it on, click play, and you'll hear through one ear, which is not what we want. So I'm going to stick background music to zero, 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 so hopefully it should be in both ears. Perfect, now let's move on to the character creation screen. So the character creation screen has got a lot of things that need to be fixed, so we are going to have to try and implement it now, but it won't be finished in this tutorial. So first thing I'm going to do is delete the treadmill, because I don't want it anymore, and I'm going to keep the spotlights on, but I'm going to start working on the male to put him in the same position as the female. So I'm going to rotate him around, because he's in the right place, make sure it's 90, so he's facing us, and I'm going to scale him up, because he is not the right scale, even though it says he... Is the same scale. Now, as you can see, it's not working because it's, we've got issues. So I'm going to go to the models folder and find characters, and we should have male and female heroes because we haven't switched to the other one yet. So we have male, which is uh, the different size, and we have female. What sizes are they? They are 1 0 0.14, 0 0.14. So it's messing up. So if we drag this one out, it's even smaller. So if we turn this to 0 0.14. Will this be the same size? So we'll drag it out and we'll see that it's getting better, but we're going to have to keep going. So I'm going to find the right number and I'll be back. So on the FBX male version, 0.3 was the right size for me. So I'm going to get rid of it and type in gender. Male is the name because the script needs to find it. And I'm going to mess with his arms and put his arms down. So bit, go inside him, bit, pelvis, spine, spine one, spine two. Yeah, blah, blah. Um, if you if you don't have these, chances are you don't have bones on your character. You are going to make life really, really hard for yourself. I'm going to go to upper arm and do it. 
you're going to make yourself make it really really hard for yourself if you don't have bones so i'd really really get some type of bone or skeleton structure on so i'm just going to put him i'm not even to mess with the global effects because it's not working it's not fully in line there we go so put him where the male would be that'll do and then what we can do is grab the other gender male here and see what the difference is well he's got a lot of these so all I'm going to do is stick all these back spawns anything what's a spawn on him basically into the other map one and I'm going to rearrange them and all these are is where to spawn the correct items so for example the back spawn is for the cape and stuff so we'll stick that roughly here that seems right I can't see go to the other end yes that'll do and uh, the body spawn will be literally on his body just about there that'll do and we can drag it forward and put it there so I'm going to continue with that and I'll be back in a minute so that's all of those in the correct positions I've literally just put them there but I've got a feeling that the other gender male this one at the back has more hidden inside him so I'm going to have a quick look and if there is a non I'll come. so there's no no more spawn points so what we can do is select the back gender male and we can drag the parts on such as the ridge body okay now the scripts then to the other gender male which need to be there so any scripts which need going such as the character loading and the other one put it on there get rid all we need to add is an audio source box collider and rigid body so we can delete the back one now there and on the gender male we will add an audio source and a rigid body and a box collider make sure they're all neatly placed you know with the box collider and stuff so there and we'll drag it all the way up there uh, what's the side like drag it out a bit on the z-axis so that should do i've just realized she, he's also a bit bigger than her but that doesn't matter much so if we were to test it now it might might not work no, so there we go. It is not assigned male spotlight, so we need to fix that. But it's saying is we didn't put the female spotlight on because the male didn't have one. That's why. But yeah, so we're gonna put that in the gender male, just duplicate it, put the female but spawn spotlight and put it over here. Put it just so it's on top of him and it's parented inside him. And then what you can do is go in and disable the light and then we can go to the main camera here and on gender select we need to assign the correct ones so the male spotlight is where is it da, 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 da. here put that on and we need male and female voices but we can get them back another time so we click and we should see we still get an error because male spotlight has not been assigned so the reason it's not working is because we've actually assigned the gender equip script to all of the characters, which is a bad move. But male spotlight, right, needs to go on the male, click the gender female and assign the male spotlight again. And now when we try it, it should squash them like that. I am at your command, sire. Work like that. So once you've assigned them all to the gender male and everything, if you click the male spotlight and turn on the light but disable the spotlight, since you've assigned it in the inspector when you click play, squash them like ants. You can switch between them Squ so it works again Squ properly. Squ squash them like ants. We need a female voice but we have ideas. Squash so one last thing I want to do is when you click it, it moves them back. I want to automatically move one of them back. So if we look in the script, it moves the Z position to 8. So if we select the female, change her to 8, and then click play, you can see we've done it backwards, but if we just change it back to 3 and change the male to 8, like so, when we play it, it'll look like one's already selected. Squash them. And then we can Squash. click next, and then we can continue, but we want to be able to make it go back and everything. But these aren't really bug fixes, so I'm going to do another tutorial, hopefully after this, pretty much soon after, hopefully, saying redesigning the character creation screen. And all we're going to do, instead of moving them across, we're going to have them in a standard position, and the menus around them is going to go click, 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 and change all the time. Really, really easy. So, this one's pretty much done. 
as character creation goes. So the interior script is completely messed up because we haven't transferred the character, it's got the wrong thing. So what I am generally going to do is I'm going to delete the actual scene of the interior and we'll remake it another time. But if we go back to level 1, you'll see that we should get some errors. If we press off and click play, hopefully we get errors for it. Uh, no errors then, that's still good. So we're going to go to File, Build Settings, Find Interior and Delete it. So you can see we've got quite a few. And then I'm going to go to Character, Find Collisions or Level Switching there, open that up. And I'm going to find Interior, Wood Cabin to Interior. So I'm going to delete all this. Anything to do with the Wood Cabin and Interior section, just gone. We don't need it anymore. So now that should be better. So I've just checked all the other levels and apart from level 1 which is the most bugs in the entire game because that's the main section, every other level is pretty much bug proof. Space Invaders, it's got sand, there's no bugs, it works, both screens. The maze game works, the interior we've deleted. Universe has got some but we're not really concentrating on that yet, that's not our main game because we can't even access it in game. So for 4 more minutes or so, um, as my recorder says, Okay, I'm just going to rearrange this a little bit, so I'm going to disable all lights, and I'm actually going to get rid of this long wall here, so the back wall, I'm going to remove everything inside it, where the spotlight is, I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to get the back wall, and I'm going to actually change it to, oops, wrong one, change the back wall to around 5, 50, is 50 a good way? And I'm just literally going to make it a little bit better on here. So what's this one? This one's 20. We'll try 20. So 20 is way too small. We'll try 40. Actually, is that our key? 30 is our key. So 30 is the correct one. So, in, so the material, that the way it's messed up, is because it's been assigned to be a 120-120 material. So if we select the 120, rename it to 30 and change the tiling to 5 yeah that'll do and then what we can do is select the floor as well and we can literally change it to 30 again so it's the same as that place it over here grab the final right wall move it up place it against the side and this is our stage for it if you wish really really easy we have no errors here well, we do apparently. Delete the mono behavior off of the um, ice ball collect because I'm not allowed to say that word apparently. So we've got no more, which is good. So where's the camera looking at when it starts? Oh dear. So we do need some sort of light, just just a small one. So I'm going to get a point light. You can't use an area light, which will be perfect for this because we are not on pro. If you are, try pro. It'll work really well. So if we just drag it up here, we just want it dark enough so you can see there's another character there, but not light enough that it shows everything, because you want to be able to switch between. Squash them like ants. That will do. Squash. And all I'm going to do is move the main camera across a bit, just so it's right in the middle of it. Maybe go to the top of you and make sure it's actual middle there. And let's have a look. Squash them like I swear I moved it more than that. camera seems to be jumping back to the exact same place every time. Yes it is, there's a script change it, so I'll be back in a minute once I think. So if you go to your gender select on the main camera, right here it says main camera, move it to uh, the X position minus 42 instead of 50, and then it should go back to the nice place. There we go. Squash them like So it's focusing more on the female, so we want it so it gets on both, so minus 45 is our new one. And it really is all about testing, really. But once we get this first camera position, everything else is easier. So that's perfect spot. Squash them like If uh, I might just turn the air point light up just a little bit, just to show it a little bit more. So now you can see it's not pitch black. 
it looks better. So that's all I'm going to do for this one. Next tutorial, we're going to completely redo the character creation better. So you can go back, you can go forward, you can assign it all from one screen. No moving camera because it's not very good. Then we'll bug fix the main level, then the universe, then we'll continue with the tutorial series properly. But this bug fix must, must, must be done. When we can go from the main menu all the way to the universe script, which is our end level, if you wish, then we can continue, but at the moment we can't. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. If you didn't like it, uh, please tell me why. Just don't say it's because it's bug fixing, because I know. Thank you for watching.